live on this very stage, the comical genius that is Mickey Williams. <laughs> My name's Mickey Williams. I'm fairly new to this whole stand up malarkey. So if I tell you a good joke, I want you to laugh. If I tell you a shit joke, I still want you to laugh. Especially you, mum, that's why you got the free ticket. But whilst I'm here tonight, I thought I'd talk to you guys a little bit about my life, my journey into comedy, and my journey here. Right, so my journey here, got the M4 from Hanzo. Uh, I got the train, I can't afford a car. <laughs> it's a weird and exciting experience attending comedy for the first time, because I'm a sports science student, so sports from my background. But comedy is something that's been a part of my life forever. Like being in the class, camp, school, cracking jokes, pulling funny faces and making people laugh and then getting in trouble for it. Look at me now, Mr. Taylor, getting paid for it. Up yours. <laughs> <laughs> but I think a huge part of how your life turns out is down to your parents, isn't it? I mean, your parents have such big expectations of you, especially with African parents. I mean, with African parents, they've got the big four sectors of work they want their kids to go into. Business, finance, law, medicine. Anything else, you're kind of a disappointment. I mean, I kind of get away with it being a sports science student because sports is such a massive industry now and there's a lot of money to be made. My sister, on the other hand, is screwed because she did art textile, so she's basically just a glorified sewing machine. Sorry, I said that. But I guess it's because they want the best for you, don't it? I mean, they're not half brutal about it, though. I mean, I was around my art house and we were all watching MTV. And that song by Nicki Minaj was playing, you know, Superbass, the one that goes, Can you feel my heartbeat running when all that crap? I oh, know, music's in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> and my little cousin's got a toy microphone, she's up and down, she's absolutely loving it. After the song ends, she goes to my aunt, I want to be a singer like Nicki Minaj when I'm older. My aunt looks at her, blank in the face, goes, takes the microphone off her, goes and gets my uncle's stethoscope, says, Go ahead, listen to our real heartbeat. <laughs> it's so brutal. I mean, I've been on the receiving end of it myself. I told my mum I was doing some comedy tonight. She said, what are you doing that for? I'm like, well, I like telling jokes and making people laugh. Well. Like, yeah, but why are you doing stand-up for? You're not funny, you're just annoying. You <laughs> <laughs> don't like some support, but you know, it's good. Well, it'd be easier for me to support you if what you're doing with your life got me free medicine. <laughs> or to description to you, I just stand here, not looking in your eyes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you have been a wonderful audience. Thank you, goodbye.